past and future only appear to exist within the illusions of the mind now. Before I delve deeper into this, I am not saying that things did not happen, because they did happen, but nothing has ever happened in the past or future. It's always happened in the moment, in the now. Is the concept of the past and future useful? Yes, it can be, but it can also cause you a lot of suffering if you believe that it's real. You can suffer from the illusions. Let's start with the past. Those who suffer from depression tend to hold on to the past. They suffer from shame, guilt, or constantly replaying scenarios that happen. Looking at the situation with so much regret, it can almost be paralyzing and can potentially, and in most cases, hold you back from moving forward. A lot of doubt arises from the past. If you failed at something in the past, you will replay that failure in your mind when a similar situation presents itself, and you will automatically give your power away to doubt, usually taking no chance, uh, whatever the challenge may be. To truly see the truth of what the past is, you must accept and realize that it is all mental. It's not real. Memories, for example, are useful, yes. Did things happen? Yes. But they didn't happen in the past. They happened in the now. You have memories of the now, but memories are simply imaginary. You have to imagine a memory, meaning the mind has to create it meaning it's not real. What's real is right now. I like to use the way cameras and videos work when speaking about the topic of the past. When we take pictures or videos, we are using the camera to capture the moment, the present moment. You can have this picture or videos for years, and usually what we do is we say, let's look back at this video or picture I took in the past. The truth is you didn't take that picture in the past. Nothing can happen in the past because everything happens in the now. Nothing can happen outside of the present moment. You weren't in the past when you took that picture. You were here in this very moment. You just have a picture that captured that moment. Once again, can these concepts of past and future be useful? Yes, but I'm trying to preach truth and truth only. When you realize that the past and future don't truly exist, things like shame, guilt, regret, and anxiety begin to diminish because you no longer believe in them. You only believe that they're real. Real life is found outside of the mind. The mind is a filter over what's real. The future. We love talking about the future and planning for the future and unfortunately suffering from it also. But realize that not once have you ever experienced the future. Nobody has ever experienced the future. Even if time travel exists, those who travel through time still would not experience neither the past nor the future. And let me explain what I mean by that. Let's say I have a time machine and you come over to test it out. Before you travel, I give you a phone that allows us to communicate through time regardless of where you travel to. First, Realize that the past and future couldn't be traveled to unless they exist right now. Meaning the past and future are happening all right now at once, in this very moment. Let's say you want to go back to the year 2012. The moment you get there, I say, call me. You now have arrived, and you call me. I am in the year 2023 and you are in 2012, but neither of us have left the present moment. You are not in the past, you are here and now. We are on the phone right now, in this very moment. D 
Do you see what I mean? I just want you to understand that we only have one moment, which is now, and how you don't have to stress about the past or worrying for the future. Instead, use the ideas and the illusions to grow, not to suffer. Don't look at your past and regret who you used to be. Instead, realize how much you have grown. Realize that you needed to experience what you experienced to be who you are today. Life is truly about how you perceive things, and it's best to perceive with truth instead of ideas. So, instead of looking at the illusions of the past and future, something real, see the truth about it. Realize how this moment is truth. When the mind begins imagining things, those are lies. But sit back and allow the mind to create what it creates. Realize that it's literally not real because it's not happening right now. You have to accept the truth if you want to see it because it's already here. If you have doubt towards it constantly, you may never realize it. Don't allow doubt which is another barrier to stop you from seeing the truth. The mind is full of illusions. It's the father of lies, the past and future, or simply just thoughts. Don't separate the term thoughts and imaginations. Everything the mind does is a thought. Thoughts are like sentences and words. It's usually like images and mental movies playing out. And there's commentary. It's important to know and understand the mind because I know how it feels when you are deeply in it, when it feels so real, when you understand that the mind is able to create such an illusion like that, it becomes easier to see through it. It will probably not be comfortable, but uncomfortable doesn't mean bad. It just is what it is and you as the consciousness awareness that you truly are, has the capacity to allow what is to be, but also not identify or be affected by what's being experienced. Funny thing is you already have accepted what is because if you didn't, you wouldn't be experiencing it. But as soon as the mind comes and resistance arises, consciousness also accepts the resistance. You can be aware of the resistance to resistance. You effortlessly are aware of everything already. So how does this help? How does knowing that the past and future are just thoughts help? When you realize that you step into your power because all of your power is here in the now. All of your potential is here and now. Your future self is here and now because the future doesn't exist later on in life. It's here you already are what you desire to be. You already have everything you want the very moment you think of it. You have it already. You are the key. And it's time for you to realize it. It's time for you to realize that life is a dream. Thank you for watching, please like, subscribe, and then share. Also be sure to join the Your Higher Self Challenge. The link is in the description. Help us feed others around the world.